So you want to make a grid floor, but you're not a construction guy. Well, that's a shame because you don't know how to lay down some tiles. Neither do I. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back <laughs> once again in Blender 2.91.0 to be exact. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this cool little grid floor, kind of like, uh, not matrix, but like, you know, simulation kind of looking thing, I suppose. I don't know what it is. Okay, listen, I just came up with the, all right. Yeah, stop. stop 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 okay stop we're gonna go ahead and drag a box over top of uh our uh, our box our default cube and our lamp hit delete to get rid of that get rid of those uh select our camera left click that and then hit alt g and alt r to clear rotation and location hit rx 90 on your numpad and left click to confirm that hit g y to move your camera back words and we're set up now all that generic stuff is out the way. Hit zero to go into the camera's view and hit shift A to add in a mesh plane. Hit S to scale that bad boy up and then hit G Z to move this down. Hit zero to go back into the camera's view and we need to scale this up a little bit more so that these two points, this point and this point are out of the camera's view. Hit uh, G Z to move that down a little bit. All right, cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to the modifiers tab and we're gonna add in a modifier of wave. So the first thing is if I hit play, you can see it's gonna start waving, you know, like this, which is, you know, pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna change the height because the height is way too much. And we're also gonna change a couple of these other factors. So the width also needs to be changed and so does the narrowness. So if I move the narrowness, narrowness down a little bit, it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna hit uh, tab and then right click subdivide right click subdivide right click subdivide right click subdivide and right click subdivide uh, like that all right cool so now if I do it one more time actually there we go so now you can see that the plane is actually like you know waving a little bit which looks pretty cool I'm gonna turn down I'm gonna turn well maybe I'll turn up and I'll turn up the width a little bit and we'll turn do I want to turn up or down yeah I'm gonna turn the narrowness up up like that and then we'll change the time because it's too fast so we'll turn the speed down so it goes a little bit slower which just looks really cool all right so we've done stuff with the wave modifier i love the wave modifier it's one of my favorite things in blender um so i'm gonna is that too fast no that's fine we'll do that yeah so 0.12 looks good for that for the speed um and then we'll go ahead and uh, start doing this the cool stuff so uh add another modifier it's going to be a wireframe modifier, and we're going to downsize wave because we don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to downsize, uh, I'm, I'm going to, sorry, downsize, change the thickness of the width of the wireframe to like 0 0.002, and then downsize that, and then move it above the wave modifier so it doesn't like create weird artifacts. Now, in our camera's view, you can, if we hit zero, you can see that we now have a really, really, really cool looking uh, wave going on. I'm going to go to render viewport shading. I uh, change my background to black right here and then go to uh, material modifier, material tab, sorry, and then drop this down, grab that, and then change it to a color. I'm going to do green because it's like, you know, simulation-y. Um, it's like code. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add in a shift A, uh, light, light, light point. There we go. And then hit uh, G, Z to move it up a little bit and turn the power up to like 50 or something. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll do 100. Uh, no, we will not, not do 100, we'll do 50. Um, and then we're going to just move it down a little bit. Uh, maybe move it forward a little bit. Maybe move it backwards a little bit, actually. Never mind. I take that back. We'll leave it exactly where it was. Um, and then we're going to select our wireframe, turn specular all the way down, roughness all the way down. Now, if we take a look at this, you can see that it looks like uh, this. If I turn my viewport denoising off, we can go ahead and take a look at that, which just looks really really cool if I do say so myself. Now what I do want to do is I want to um, maybe rotate this by 45 degrees so it doesn't look too straight like this. So we'll hit um, RZ 45 and then left click to confirm that. And now when we play this you can see that it does that which just looks really really cool. So um, yeah that is uh, that's pretty much that for our wireframe kind of um, grid wire thing animated i don't know um we can also turn bloom on because you know i love bloom um and we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, move this point lamp down a little bit more into the 
grid so it kind of like does that and reflects and i'm also going to turn shadow off um and then i'm actually going to put that back on 50. all right cool so this this little center piece kind of well i just messed something up there um this little this little piece in the center or on the edge actually right now this little piece on the edge kind of glows a little bit which looks really really cool so uh so yeah so the great thing about this is like like i said it loops it it um it looks really cool because it loops and it looks cool just in general um I'll move that down like like there um and i'm also gonna go ahead and real quick before we end this i'm going to um drag a box over top of both of these hit shift d to duplicate them hit r x 180 left click to confirm that hit zero to go back into the camera's view and then we're going to go ahead and then just move this up to the top um of the canvas and, and turn my overlays back off and now we have like dual kind of you know things going on here so this just looks really cool that ladies and gentlemen is that hope you enjoyed it i'm turning shadow off of the point lamps both the point lamps did i miss the other one there we go. We got both on my cool. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we have some really cool things. You can put something in the middle of this, do something really cool with that. Um, I do not know what you will do, but this is it for today's uh, pretty simple tutorial, but looks really cool. Has a lot of different uses. Um, we can go ahead and change this color to something else. We can change it to like a deep blue or like an aqua blue um, to like a yellow. That looks really cool, the golden. Um, but yeah. I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you guys later. Peace out. Um, but until then, <laughs> bye-bye.